Hi, you're in a mature market and everyone's margins have eroded. But yours are worse, yours have eroded even more than your competitors. So what do you do? Your back's against the rope. Do you fight your way out of the corner? Well, the answer is no. You find a new corner to fight your way into. Let me explain. In a mature market, the margins start to thin out. Why? Because your product or service is pretty much the same as everybody else's. And because of that, price is the easiest thing to compete on. If you're not willing to drop your price, somebody else will. When they do, you need to. And so it goes. And so typically, as a market matures, everybody's margins erode. As the market matures though, somebody in the market's probably got a cost advantage. Sheer scale for most businesses is the cause of that cost advantage. I'm not talking about price here, just to be clear. I'm not talking about how you price your product, although we'll come to that. I'm talking about the cost. And for you to produce your product or service costs a dollar, somebody's doing it for 90 cents or 80 cents or 95 cents, something that's less than yours. Now hopefully you're both selling for $1.50 but their costs are actually lower than yours and normally the reason is scale. Now once the market's matured, you just can't copy that. They've got you at a permanent disadvantage. Only if you let them. And here's what we need to do. For the overall market, they have a cost advantage. Now differentiation is when you get to charge more for your product than the, going, than the others in the competitor try again, than the others in the market, you know what I mean, um, because there's something about your product or service that your market values. Cost advantage is where they can produce the product or service for less. Now, how you both price your product or service is a separate decision, but you've either got some sort of value that you add to the market that lets you charge more, or you've got some cost advantage that lets you make it for less, or you're losing money. That's as Simple as I can make it. So therefore, if you can't copy the other guy, the other guy that's bigger than you and has a scale advantage, if you can't copy them, what do you do? Well, firstly, you don't copy them. Find a niche, a part of the market for which you can command a premium to what you're charging today. There's something that you do something, somewhere that you do that makes you more valuable than your competitors to a certain part of the market. I know it's not everybody, but it is somebody. Do you understand them better? Do you serve them better? Do you put together something core about your product or service that's just different? Do you handle complexity better? Do you handle short notice better? Something, somewhere that you do makes you more valuable to a part of the market. So we need to do predominantly two things, and I'll add a third in a moment. Number one, find that something. What is it that you do that a part of the market does value? Number two, find the market for which that is most true. And here's the third bit to add, but it's, it's, it's after those other two. The first one is find it. Second one is find out for whom that's true. Now here's the third bit. Do whatever you can to your product or service to make whatever that strength is even greater. So double down on that strength. Long story short, if you're in a mature market, the overall margins are gonna be down. You just can't change that. What you can change is how much margin you make. You don't do that by flapping around in the whole market. You micro niche, come down to a part of the market for which you can command a fair market price and you just serve that market. Oddly enough, shrinking your market can often grow your revenues and it will certainly grow your profits. Now in your funnel plan, if you have one, if you haven't got one, I'll show you how to get one in a second, but in your funnel plan, one of the things that we identify is what problem do you solve for your market? I think I've already alluded to that in today's show. But then we work out for whom that's most true. 
whatever you identify about each of the market segments, they need to be the markets for which that problem really, really strikes a chord. So in your funnel plan, identify the markets for which that problem most resonates, and that's who you should be targeting. And frankly, everybody else should become a non-target. Any time that you spend serving them is time that you're not spending serving the market that you're best at serving. If you haven't got a funnel plan, go get one. You can start off with a free one at funnelplan.com. Here's the URL. Go to funnelplan.com, get yourself a free funnel plan, and identify the problem that you solve, the market that has that problem, what you're gonna to take to that market. In you know, five really easy steps, you can build a go-to-market plan. If you want more functionality, of course you can pay for it, you can upgrade, it's, frankly it's really small, small money anyway, but you can start with a free one. Go to funnelplan.com, do it now, grab yourself a funnel plan, build out a plan that identifies the problem that you solve better than anybody else, and the market who most has it, and the solution that can best solve that problem, then choose the tactics that you're going to use to serve that market. Well, for those of you in mature markets, I hope that helps. Lots more planned for next week. Until then, may your funnel be full and always flowing. Our thanks this week to Jeffrey Moore for his chasm theory. Let me link to a blog here that you should uh, go, go listen to if you're into market maturity and you found what I spoke about interesting. Um, here's funnelplan.com again, and thanks to Claudia Ivanka. Welcome to the team, Claudia, uh, for her production this week, and thanks for Hannah for supervising.